back in the 80s, where my family is from, we didn't grow up with much. I'm not kidding. For example, we had an outhouse. We still needed to use an oil lantern so you can see at night. Around the time I was either seven or eight, I remember rushing home from school because we had cable that we were actually stealing from the neighbors. There were a ton of American TV shows, so I'd watch whatever I could. There was this one live action show that was a big deal for me. This guy in black would get on this black bike that shot rockets and lasers like a boss. Mark, an ex-motorcycle cop injured in the line of duty, now a police troubleshooter. He's been recruited for a top-secret government mission to ride Street Hawk, an all-terrain attack motorcycle designed to fight urban crime, capable of incredible speeds up to 300 miles an hour, and immense firepower. Only one man, federal agent Norman Tuttle, knows Jesse Mark's true identity. The man, the machine, Street Hawk. What had been placed in the back of my mind as a kid kind of resurfaced in a video game back in October 2008. They had put out Midnight Club Los Angeles, which allowed you to race muscle cars, tuners, exotics, SUVs, lowriders versus motorcycles. And I think for the entirety of the game, the story, I did nothing but play using the motorcycles. I think I beat the whole game, except for the challenges and whatever, with just motorcycles. And it just kind of reignited the fire for motorcycles in me. Mero, ever was popular at that time, you could pretty much race against it for 2008. The absolute beauty of that game was the fact that it let you take almost any vehicle you want and customize it. And you set it up and trick it out the way that you want to have it done. I had finally saved up enough money to go ahead and buy my first bike. A 2006 GSXR 750. It is the most comfortable seating ergonomics as far as everything else, may it be the R1, the R6, the uh, Kawasaki 636, almost any of the other super sports, this was the one that felt the most comfortable for me. One day after work, getting ready to take myself home, I get outside and my bike is laid out on its side. It was still rideable, so I took it over to these guys at the shop, and they were able to do just phenomenal work for me, to the point where I was in complete disbelief of what the bike looked like.
this beast, this monster, is forced to be reckoned with, with mine. From childhood dream come true, it's mine. If you want one, I want one for you. If you're thinking about doing it, do it. Take the safety course, go get one. This is the best experience ever.